Welcome to the Bard's, 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 Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? A musical museum. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I we Good luck in finding the verse.
vengeance is at hand. I know you can afford a septum or two. A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. Feeling sick? Hey, want to play tag? Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice. So, would you like a tune? the task I gave. Not much. There are no... 
If you want something a bar a thousand years from now, Skyrim will... I have to admit, I didn't think so it would actually be there. The now, let's take a look at this. Tomorrow, understand? Oh... Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. Pardon me. King but Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex I'm and took sure him to Dragon's fine. Reach. Just don't be late. What did we say really happened? solo performance is about a week away. I expect to hear your early rendition tomorrow, understand? Oh, thank you. I've been working on an original piece. I hope it can stand up to the classics. I'll be the judge of that. Now back to your practice. Nah. All right. I'm, I'm writing that in. I'm not sure about the court, but I find that much more probable than Olaf capturing a dragon. <laughs> Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? And they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> it has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. You look sick. I hope it's not contagious. likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent huh? job of recreating it.
Huh? I do hope the court... I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Viarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man. No fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf captured a fast-sleeping dragon, a mighty feat which the meek would not fail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to Winter Hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, Winter Hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to her. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. Uh, I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Hard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf.
Well, it is my personal mission to ensure that... I generally don't involve myself in politics. Good tales deal with the issues of the day, but a wise bard remains a neutral observer. You might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival, after all. Welcome, people of solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, we remember all those solitude soldiers out fighting the good fight in this thankless war. like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Labrina. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. I believe Sanguine would be pleased with this festival. You've done well by restoring our festival. I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Actually, just a bottle for me. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really makes history? The person who writes it. Any time. Come on, light the fire. Come on, light the fire. Get your festival meat pie, specially made. I was done talking Thank anyway. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Good luck out there. It seems like... Here, I'd like you to have this as a token of my friendship. They found it. They actually found it. Rion drum. Nobody knows where he died, and therefore where his drum might be. Haldir was the missing link. Rion entered Haldir's cairn in secret and presumably died there. Now all I need to do is find someone to get it. Wait, you. You could do it. I need you to get me that drum. You're joking, right? Riorn, only the most famous battle drummer of the Second Age? Well, famous among bards, at least. That drum has been in half a dozen famous battles. It's a priceless artifact. Riorn was always looking for new stories to tell. It seems he was writing a lay about Haldir when he vanished. 
That was the missing clue. Well, you've come to the right place. I suppose I should return to my papers. 